Here's a new Wagon website. Each page organizes information into chunks called cards. The logo, the sidebar, and the main content are all cards. There's even a card for each user. Cards are the building blocks of Wagon websites. Let's start by creating a new card to document a common office task, fixing the printer. First we'll add a name. All cards on the wagon have unique names, though many names are generated automatically. As we add some content, notice the simple, customizable WYSIWYG editor for basic cards. After saving, you might want to make some changes. To do so, just click Edit, make some changes, and save them. You can also double-click to edit, like so. Wagon lets you edit multiple cards on the page at the same time. Let's add some useful links to our menu. Notice how URLs and emails are auto-linked. To link to a card, just use double brackets around the card name. You can even use different capitalization and pluralization in the link. You can also link to cards you haven't created yet. By default, these links will be read. Clicking on the How to Fix Fax link will prompt you to create that card. The red link turns green when the card is created. You may have noticed that we made some small edits to our printer card, but then clicked away without saving the card. No problem. Every card on Wagon has a history of changes. If you go to the Changes tab, you can see the changes you've made, including auto-saved drafts. You can just click to save this draft as the current version, and nothing is lost. Suppose you decide this card's name is a bit too long. You can change a card's name at any time by clicking on Edit, and then Name. When you rename cards, you have the option to update any links to that card with the new name. You can see the menu link now uses the new name. That's just one way Wagon helps you keep information current as you evolve your web system.